look, so it's really great that wrestlers are taking care of themselves these days as we don't need more mental health issues from abusing drugs and vicious chair shots. But a sick part of me really misses when wrestlers would absolutely level each other. Something about the sight and the sound of a big move connecting really drew me in as a fan. So here are the most vicious slams in WWE history, starting with... The Undertaker choke slams Spike Dudley out of the ring. No! Nice choke! Oh my God! Who the hell decided to have The Undertaker versus Spike Dudley? In what world was this ever going to be a remotely fair fight? Even in the scripted world of pro wrestling, Spike Dudley, the character, never stood a chance against The Undertaker. Worse yet, this was for The Undertaker's hardcore championship. Undertaker vs. Spike Dudley in a hardcore match. The match goes exactly how you'd expect, ending after a massive last ride through a trash can. Taker wasn't done here though, and he chokeslammed Spike right out of the ring after the match. Just listen to the sick thud he makes as he lands. No! Nice choke! Oh Umaga's swinging side slam to Jeff Hardy. We never got to see the absolute best of Umaga. Originally debuting as a part of 3 Minute Warning in 2002, you could tell that he was the member of the team that had more physical power. He came back as a singles competitor with the new gimmick of Umaga several years later, and you could tell just by watching him in the ring that he was destined for greatness. Everything he did looked absolutely brutal. Nothing more so than when he hit his sickening swinging side slam on Jeff Hardy. There was a good one inside the ring, but listen to this one connect outside the ring. Umaga makes a fair catch. Oh no! Oh, and what a splash! Hardcore Holly Alabama slams Spike Dudley. Oh my god! Alright, so let's get this out of the way. We're gonna be seeing a lot of Spike Dudley on this list. Dolph Ziggler is the modern day bumping machine, but that's largely due to his athleticism. Spike Dudley was the bumping machine of old, and it was strictly due to him being so much smaller than everyone in the Attitude and Ruthless Aggression eras. The Alabama Slam is one of the most badass finishers of all time. It's a shame it got stuck with such a nitwit like Hardcore Holly. Still, check out this absolute massacre on poor little Spike Dudley. Quick one. Hardcore with the Alabama Slam! Every single move in the APA versus Kyan Tai. On a random episode of Sunday Night Heat, someone had the insane idea to put poor old Kyan Tai up against the APA. The APA could probably contribute to every entry on this list between Farouk's Spinebuster and Bradshaw's Clothesline from Hell. Worse still, Kayantai was doing some sort of weird masochist gimmick at the time, and after getting pinned at the exact same time, they challenged the Acolytes to yet another match. A few brutal moves and another double pin later, Kayantai challenged them to a third match in a row. This time they won. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They got slaughtered again. Poor guys, they never really stood a chance. Bradshaw power bombs Christian into eternity. I love the APA. They're the greatest tag team I've ever seen, both with character work and in-ring action. By in-ring action, I mean they beat their opponents to hell every single match. The clothesline from hell circa 2001 should get some love. Actually, let's take a break for a second and just watch a few of those. Anyway, Bradshaw had a mean powerbomb that he showed on several occasions, but on Raw in 2002, he hit one on Christian that was so hard, I was convinced Christian got brain damage taking it. I'm trying to stay away from JBL era Bradshaw, but man, that powerbomb he hit on a random luchador when he first transitioned was insane too. Here we go, powerbomb and a powerbomb! Baruch Spinebuster to everyone. Baruch, oh! Spinebuster! There have been some awesome Spinebusters over the years. Triple H, Batista, The Rock, Booker T, and more have had legendary Spinebusters. But goddamn, no one ruins someone's day like Farouk dishing out a Spinebuster. Just look at him hit poor little X-Pac with this one. 
Farouk's Dominator also deserves some love, but as great as it was, I don't think it was his hardest hitting move. Actually, his hardest hitting move was this clothesline he hit on Chuck Palumbo in 2001. Obviously, a big meaty guy like Farouk is going to toss around the smaller wrestlers, but even legitimate grappling badass Kurt Angle got absolutely annihilated by this one on Raw in 2001. Oh, look out, this... Oh. Brock Lesnar flips Shannon Moore out of the ring. Ah, Brock Lesnar, another competitor who really could be this entire list. Everything Brock does, whether it's the early 2000s version of him or nowadays, looks like a bus hitting a chihuahua. On SmackDown in 2002, the Chihuahua was poor little Shannon Moore. This squash match is basically two moves, and it's two of the craziest moves you'll ever see. The match ends with Brock giving out one of the best F5s of his entire career. Really, you could call this one the F10, but how the match starts is even crazier. Brock belly to belly overhead suplexes Shannon with such force, you think he's gonna fly away forever into the clouds. Kane choke slams X Pac all the way to hell. This has got to be Mr. McMahon's Christmas bonus cake! At the turn of the century, Kane had easily the best choke slam in the entire business. Undertaker had a great one, but the slam was never as good as Kane's. Big Show had a massive one, and admittedly, sometimes it would come close, but a viciously brutal Kane choke slam from 2000 onwards? That was a sight to see, especially when he was delivering it to a cruiserweight bumping machine like X Pac. These two had an awesome tag team in 1999, but by the end of the year, they were in a feud for the ages. A few weaker choke slams started off their feud, but Pac must have looked at Kane backstage and said, listen man, just kill me out there, because that's what Kane started to do. X-Pac ate so many sickening choke slams from Kane in this period, but check out this one from Raw. Over right now, I'm a oh! choke slam! Goldberg spears Christian. And he does Christian grabbing that chip. Alright, let's be real here. Goldberg has had some devastating spears over the years. Not all of them look great, but when they connect well, oh baby, that's some good stuff. For all of his legendary WCW work, hands down the best spear I've ever seen Goldberg hit was on Raw in 2003. Poor old Christian should never have been in the ring with Goldberg to start with, and we were immediately reminded why. Of all the wrestlers over the years to adopt the spear as a finisher, Goldberg is still the absolute best at doing it. Seriously, no one even comes close. Bubba Ray Dudley power kills Spike Dudley. Brother! Oh, power bomb on Spike! Oh man, for all the amazing power bombs we've seen over the years, from the ultra sloppy jackknife of Kevin Nash to the elevated last ride of The Undertaker, from Kane's long forgotten falling power bomb of the early 2000s to Mike Awesome's legendarily brutal power bombs at ECW. From main event ending Batista bombs to Bradshaw's mid-match killers, this is easily the most brutal power bomb I have ever seen. I don't think Bubba was even trying to protect Spike a little bit. I think Bubba was trying to kill him. But you watch it and you tell me. That concludes our list of the most vicious slams in WWE history. Which ones did we forget? Let us know in the comments below.